What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. Today we're going to recap the uh, White Tech Wolski deal and uh, what it means for both the Rangers and Panthers going forward. A little background uh, Wolski got traded to the Panthers uh, for a third round pick in minor league defenseman Mike Vernis. Uh, Wolski's only got three points, all assists in nine games this year. Uh, this is third year in a row getting traded. Went from Colorado to Phoenix two years ago. And then from Phoenix to New York last year. And now Donna, he's taking a challenge to South Beach. 26-year-old kid. Uh, it was a good play. It was on the all-rookie team, I think, back in. Uh... No, he had a good rookie year. That he got over Shad. Stastny, Stahl, and uh, what's-his-face? Malkin were the three forwards on the all-rookie team. But his points have regressed steadily since then. Um, had... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Went from 50 points, 48 points, 42 points. Uh, then had a good run uh, with 65 points. That was his career high in uh, 2010. Uh, then last year, it's 35 points, and this year only three points. Plus 19 in his career. Big, big kid. 6'3", uh, 215, you know, get good reach. And, uh, you know, gives you another, you know, kind of top six forward uh, for Florida, you know. And I look at it... Uh, Versteeg's having a great year down there. He's another guy that's been traded a lot the last couple of years. Uh, unlike, you know, much like, excuse me, uh, Volsky. And I think once he settles in with that core group they got in Florida, I think he'll fit in great. You know, Florida's looking to make the playoffs for the first time since uh, 2000. You know, you think about that. Clinton was in office. Think about it. You've had almost three full presidential terms since the Florida Panthers have played a playoff game. Pavel Bore was that lead, was one of the league's elite players for the Panthers back then. Think about it. You know, Florida's got a chance to, you know, with the depth they have at forward and they're they're good defensemen and uh, if Jose Tato can play up to his up to the caliber he's done in the past, you know, they can go a few rounds. You know, their team I wouldn't want to face in the playoffs. They're a very uh, energetic team. They play tough to play against, and they you know got good defensemen, good depth up front, and good goaltending. That's what you need. And I think Volsky will fit in very well with that group down in Fort Lauderdale. Um, the Rangers, what it means for the Rangers. You know, Vernon's a minor league defenseman. He's played a few games on the show. Bloody da. You know, gives you some defenseman depth. Third round pick, okay, that's nice. Going forward, it takes Volsky's three point. I'm trying to think what's his cap hit. I think it's a $3.6 million cap hit off the Rangers' books. And, um, 3.8. And, uh, that means the Rangers are looking at Rick Nash. They've been looking at him. This opens up room, the cap room, to make that trade with Columbus. You know, they didn't put him on waivers today. Cause it, and Florida got the cap room. He's a pending free agent. If he doesn't work out, you don't lose anything. But, um, you know, I think this opens up the door for much bigger things for the Rangers, you know. And like I said, Volsky, I think, will fit in very well in Florida. He plays very well when he gets traded. So we'll see what happens. I'm very excited to see what it what's gonna happen on Monday. You know, will uh, will Rick Nash be on Broadway? It's uh, pretty remains to be seen, but it'll be pretty cool. Um that's it for this episode of the Power Play with CJ on the Wider Tech Volsky to the Florida Panthers deal and what that means to both the Panthers and the Rangers going forward. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season. Later guys.